hello guys welcome back to the art productions and uh, in this new video we are going to create the second part of our last video which was the iphone 13 and we have modeled this but only model in this video we are going to make it light shade and textured iphone 13 so let's get started as i, as I have already told you that uh, we have already modeled this and uh, the tutorials of modeling you can get in the description as well so without wasting the time let's just start i'm going to delete this uh, extra and i have uh, this model and we need to texture them so first of all uh, i have this group so i'll make it ungroup by ungrouping uh, i have these are the separate things the logo is separate the buttons are separate so everything is separate so my next step is uh, just to start shading first uh, i'll go to the material editor and i will find out these are the shaders uh, by which we can uh, improve our shading texturing reflections many other things as well so this time so i'm going to select my border and i make it isolate oh sorry just press alt q for the isolate and this is isolate right now so i will select them and i'm going to give the uh, chrome color and the chrome color will be like uh, it will be i think pure black color and i will assign this so it is becoming almost a jet black so well i'll go to the uh, reflection and uh, in the reflection i'm going to give reflection approx I think uh, 15 15 values so here it is uh, I have done this reflection as well but uh, one thing you have to make sure I'm going to double click on it so you can find out this is the jet black you have to make this uh, background open and then remove the check from fernal reflection so you can find out this is a proper steel chrome material here you can find out the rough glossiness so uh, reflection glossiness so i'm going to make it in 0.95 percent so you can see there's a uh, two dots of the reflection it look like some kind of a glossy feelings so i have assigned them here but what about these buttons these are the buttons so i'm going to make this open group so like these buttons and uh, i will duplicate this chrome material and uh, I'm going to give the name gray, chrome gray. So the material of chrome gray, I'm going to open diffuse color. It is zero value. So I'm going to make them the approximate five. So it looks something gray. And I'm going to give the reflection. It is 15. I'm going to give the 32. And I'll assign them. So it is something like this. So we have then this part that we have already shared and you can see this is a reflection point here and it will move throughout the camera angle so this is the reflection so we have done this reflection i'm going to unhide them all and uh, i will select this apple logo and uh, once again i will duplicate this chrome material and i will give the name is apple so what I'm going to do with the apple, I will go to the diffuse color and give the value of approximately 55% this sort of gray. And the reflection will be more, approximately 120, I think 126. So here we have done this and now we just uh, need to select this chrome gray and I will apply chrome gray on the body as well but the material of camera so i will give proper black chrome the border selection and will give chrome gray so it is some sort of uh, differentiation of the chromes i'll take this tiny dots and give them a black color i think uh, this color has to give on the light on a flashlight and uh, i'll select them and give them a new color 
and it will be black. Okay, so as you can see that we have already shaded and the textured all the objects. So one thing we have to make, which is, I'm so sorry, which is this one. this LCD. You have to go to the editable poly, select it and then you have to detach them. So uh, we have we need to select this screen right now already as you can see that I have detached this model, the screen model. And uh, for the fur uh, furthermore purpose, uh, I have Adobe Photoshop here and uh, I will have to texture them. So first of all, I will go to the modified panel and I will find out UV unwrap, unwrap UVW. So this time, this is actually the unwrapping of my UVs. What I'm going to do, I'm going to open UV editor and go to the mapping and select the flatten mapping. Flatten mapping will easily uh, give you open and wrap shape of your model. So what you have to do, you have to just select them, go to the tools, find render UVW template and create the template by clicking here this this is your template you have to save them and uh, i think if i will find out template is screen png format and this time i'll go to the adobe photoshop and i will call my template this is my template format And I'll take the black color under the shape. So guys, I have already created a texture for the display. Let me show you. Uh, this is my texture for the display. As you can see, there's a layer of, this is my main wallpaper layer. This is my layer and this is 5G. This is timing. This is Friday, 3rd September. These all the layers I have already created uh, so just uh, I will drop down these textures into my main template so what I'm going to do I'm just going to select this main template and this uh, speaker side like that and also the black dots as well so I'm just going to make them here and move it out here and yes we have fixed fix it here So, uh, and this actually fix here. And uh, the next step is Friday, 3rd September. This is my time. And let me find out the lock. This is my lock. So I'll just move this uh, lock from here to there. and the icons these are the camera and flashlights icon i'm going to move them press ctrl t and just adjust them like this okay the final steps uh, our 5g logo our battery so just move them here through your move to you have to move them. at this time this is the main green structure line so i'm just going to disappear this line and i will save this screen tablet and make it save as as a jpeg format 
because you have to apply this with the help of texture so jpeg image as well i'm going to go back to 3d studio max go to the material editor and uh, take the new texture and give the name is a screen and i will apply a screen texture by clicking on this box it will take some time to open you can go to the bitmap and after going bitmap just find out your texture so this was my screen template texture i'm gonna open this and assign it and show this so as you can see that our texture is applied but unfortunately it is flipped so what you have to do you have to go to the uv unwrap map uv open uv editor and uh, what you will do you will have to select this uv editor take the rotation tool and uh, just make it rotate so now it is perfectly done so what am i going to do i'm just going to give the material editor a reflection the, in this object have to give a reflection approx uh, i think 32 percent is okay so guys i'm going to make it sorry once again i will select them and make a group is called iphone oh unfortunately oh my goodness unfortunately i have forgot my uh, these camera lenses i'm gonna open this group as well and uh, i'm just going to take material editor once again and uh, this time i will take lens texture and the lens texture is i think i have uh, in my previous folder which was this so i um, apply this and then show this so it is shown in the box perfectly so uh, what have to do we need to make it uh, reopen in the Adobe Photoshop because the color of this uh, lens is too much blue we need to make it gray so I'm gonna go to the image adjustment hue saturation and after that you have to desaturate them it is something like this just save them so it will be automatically i think uh, what have to do this okay so i'm going to save the folder iphone and this is called my lens and i will call my lens texture not this one just go to the texture format this one So now as we have seen this error, this is the white uh, balance color uh, including this lens but we have to make it complete lens. So what you have to do, you have to go to the select them and just uh, press U on your screen and find out UEW map. So after taking the UEW map, it is mapping into the other objects. Just increase their length and increase their width so it is perfectly fixed. on your camera now I'm just going to close this and my mobile is textured shaded and textured so the next step is just to create the light setup for creating the light setup so I'm just gonna uh, give the select this and make it uh, duplicate and rotate them so we can show the back side of this object as well make a little deeper little down and apply the target camera when i will apply the target camera it will be looking perfectly on the take the orbit tool and make it turn i think that was awesome so next step is to create lighting setup so it is my lights i'm going to take the beta light 
okay from top I'm gonna apply one light from top there's a one light here and I'm going to give the mm, top light segments I'm sorry multiplier will be approx 5% okay I'll take another light from the side angle and rotate them and adjust them here perfect so go to the modifier uh, panel and we'll give the multiply 10 percent give some color cold color bluish something like that and make it open and give invisible light otherwise the light will going to be shown in the render if you will not take it invisible okay so next step is just hold the shift key and drag the mouse to take the duplicate i'm going to take the duplicate of this light and uh, make it rotate somehow and make a distance as well but you need to increase the height of this light and give them 20 percent multiplier and little bit yellowish color and it has to be rotate somehow not too much just somehow okay this time you will have to go to the render setup in my previous video you have seen that i have already created a render settings in here one thing you have to make the change you have to go to the v-ray find out the environment and check the reflection reflection environment just give them a check and find out v-ray hdri there is my v-ray hdri i'm gonna make it okay and go to the material editor okay just drop this video hdri in here materials and find out your hdr hdr actually used for the environmental reflection which is my this hdr i'm using them give them a spherical mapping so finally let's see the render This is the hilarious reflection as you can see guys. So guys, I think, I hope you like this tutorial video and uh, I hope you love this uh, video as we have created the iPhone 13 model. And now in this second part, we have created their lighting, shading and texturing setup. So um, if I if you want something know something so just comment below and you will get the link of my part one in the comment section as well. Thank you so much for watching this.